In this lecture, we are going to test if statement with Python 3. If statement is a condition. If this condition is true, an action will be taken. We have here this code written in Python 3 and starts with a variable a equals 2. The first if, if statement here, if a equals equals 3, then column, the action that will be taken is print a equals 3. Of course, here we have a equal 2, so this condition is not true. So the action will not be taken. The second if statement here is written with lf. The first one is f only. The second if statement must be written and starts with lf lf a is greater than 3 the action that will be taken here is a is greater than 3 and also this action will not be taken because a equals 2 so let's go to the third condition here we have in the python script which is if a or or lf a equals equals 0, the action that will be taken here is A equals 0. And also, this condition will not be applied. The last condition here we have must be written with else. Else is the final condition we have in the script. Else means that if the above if conditions are not applied, so, apply the last one, which prints a is less than 3. We have, a, we have here a equal 2, so the first, second, and third statements, if statements, are not true. The last one will be applied here, which is a is less than 3. Let's examine this Python script. Python if statement is the file name of the Python script and we are going now to run this Python script to test it. The result is a is less than 3. That was expected because here we have in the Python script a variable equals 2. Now I'm going to change the a variable to be 3 not to nano if statement then I'm going to change a to be 3 and that means the first if condition will be applied because in this if condition we have a equals equals 3 so we are expecting to receive a equals 3 let's test it we have here a equals 3. We can also change the variable a to be 4 so the second condition can be applied a is greater than 3 we have here the result of running the script a is greater than 3 we can also change the variable a to be 0 and run the script again here we have a equals 0 we must be aware that ending the if statement must be with colon then under this colon we write the action that will be taken if the condition is true thank you for viewing this lecture I hope it can add a good value to you.